Hey guys, it's Jane here from Laser Gaming, and in this video we're going to be looking at the best enforcer weapons in Battlefield Hardline. We're going to go through six weapons that include battle rifles and shotguns, and we're just going to try to give you an overview of what the best weapons to use in this class are in Battlefield Hardline. So the first weapon we're going to be starting off with is the FAL, or the FNFAL. I consider this to be one of the best weapons in Hardline in general, a very amazing weapon top tier it does 42 damage and drops down to 25 at range or 43 damage up close i believe actually so it has significant recoil but if you're able to tap fire you can control it pretty well and absolutely melt people i was using it on stream the other day and i went on an insane kill streak on bank job just from melting people and i actually dropped like 84 kills with it in a single blood money which was really really awesome but yeah that's the fal high damage fast fire rate assault rifle and uh, let's move on to the next weapon, which is the SA-58 OSW. This fires 50 rounds per minute slower than the FAL, but it has a lot less recoil and is better at long range. The SA-58 not only has a faster muzzle velocity, but it has better recoil, making it easier to hit those shots at long range, especially with its low first shot multiplier for recoil, or lower for the Enforcer class. Now this weapon was one of the best weapons in the game when the game first launched, but again with DLC weapons and all that stuff, it's sort of fallen back a little bit, but it is still one of my favorite battle rifles, and it is overall a very good gun. It's not as good up close, uh, just because of the fire rate is relatively slow at 650 rounds per minute, um, but that's basically, it's basically like an AKM with more recoil, but it does have a very fast fire rate, uh, sorry, very fast reload, my bad. Fire rate's not fast, reload is, and the muzzle velocity is fast, meaning at long range you won't have to lead your shots by that much if you're going to hit them. This also makes it nice for hitting headshots because, again, you can sort of just track your target as you would normally, and you don't have to lead a lot like you do with the other battle rifles that don't have as fast muzzle velocity. And next we're going to be moving on to the HK-51. Now there's a huge asterisk on this weapon, I did a full video on it called Secret Gun in Battlefield Hardline. This weapon's only good in burst fire mode, it's kind of garbage outside of burst fire mode, but in burst fire mode it's the fastest firing battle rifle in the game. So I'd recommend checking this weapon out in burst fire mode, and if you want to learn more about how awesome this gun is, if you didn't know about the burst fire mode, I'll link the secret gun in Battlefield Hardline video on screen, and you can just search it up on YouTube, I'm sure it'll pop up because it did get quite a bit of views. Now next we're going to be hitting the SCAR H. Now this weapon personally isn't one of my favorite weapons and I wouldn't consider it a top battle rifle, but it is one of the only battle rifles that's really good on the police side and it is the best police battle rifle in my opinion. So this weapon has a pretty slow fire rate, 625 rounds per minute, which means it can't really hang with the other ones in damage per second up close, but what it doesn't have in fire rate it makes up for in fast reload and recoil. This gun has pretty low recoil which can make it easy to dump truck people up close and since the recoil is mostly vertical as you saw there it also makes it pretty easy to hit headshots. Now next we're going to be moving on to the KSG shotgun. Now this weapon is best used in slug fire mode. I really don't like it in any other mode but you're going to see I go on a pretty awesome kill streak here on the block using the slugs and this weapon really does have awesome range with these slugs and it's really nice to use because most of the other slug rifles in the game or slug shotguns in the game are not that good. But this one on the other hand it does melt up close and at long range. So it makes it really nice to get those feeds and just kill people really fast, especially if you have precision accuracy. It's basically like a pocket sniper that aims down sights a lot faster and you can shoot a lot faster, which is just really cool. You saw how far away it was killing those guys. It's like 30 meters, which is basically sniper range uh, for a one hit kill, which is really awesome. Now lastly, we're going to move on to the 870p. This one is not an insane shotgun. As you can see, I'm kind of garbage with shotguns overall. I almost never use them. But the 870 is unlocked right away for those of you who are new players. Very easy to use, uh, especially on both sides, the cops and the criminals. And it's just an overall solid weapon. It doesn't do anything too special, but it has a pretty decent one-hit kill range, especially without slugs. And it, it even improves that with slug rounds. Just a very spray-heavy shotgun that is really nice to use, especially if your aim isn't that good. I mean, no, not that good because I'm kind of just messing around with it and doing garbage. But I mean, if you're, you have trouble controlling recoil, this is a really good weapon to use. 
If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like down below. Tell me what your favorite enforcer weapons are. Tell me if I forgot anything at all, as I'd be willing to make a part two if you really want it, but I think I covered most of the weapons. And again, I'm going to cover the all kit weapons in a separate video, so for example, I didn't include the 18A7 shotgun, simply because it is an all kit weapon, as well as I didn't include some of the all kit battle rifles. But again, don't forget to drop a like down below, subscribe if you are new here, but that's what it is for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.